Hi hey everyone and welcome to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to crop, rotate and scale images in Photoshop. I think the best way to explain this is to consider a potential brief that you get from your client. So let's have a look at it. The brief says, turn this image into a 1080 by 1080 square uh, with the car in the middle. Also it needs to be flipped, headlights aiming downwards. Usually when you get a brief, you don't, you don't get specific steps, meaning like first crop the image into a square, second make sure that it's uh, flipped, third make sure it's in the middle. You always need to break it down for yourself. So let's break this down into single steps. So first what you're going to do is that we are going to um, crop uh, the image and we are going to make it a square with the car in the middle. Second, we are going to flip the image so that it, the headlights are aiming downwards. And third, we are going to rescale it into 1080 by 1080 pixels. So now that the steps are clear, let's get into it. I'm going to hide this for now, actually delete it completely. And um, first, let's start cropping. So the crop tool, you can access it in two ways. You can either click this icon or you can press C on your keyboard. So we are just going to press C. And uh, as soon as you activate this tool, you get these little controls over here on the sides and in the corners. If you, if you click and drag one of them, you can see what's happening. It's selecting the area that will, will be cropped. We can do it from all sides, from left, from the top, from the bottom and also from the corners. And we can also, when we click and drag the image, it can be moved around, right? So for example, if you, if you need to make some empty space at the bottom, you can do it like this. But we want a square. And uh, to do that, we will access this little tool uh, up here on the left and it says ratio. So the ratio of a square is one to one because all the sides are have the same length. We are going to say one and one and you can see that it immediately turned into a square and if I, I try to resize it the square is locked. It doesn't allow me to turn it, this into a rectangle. It just keeps being a square. So we are going to try and center this car into the middle as much as possible by clicking and dragging the image. I think this looks good. And um, of course, you probably realize that this area is what remains and this dark area is what will be gone after confirming the crop. So we are going to confirm it now with this little check mark on the top or um, pressing enter on your keyboard. Now we have the car in the middle. What needs to be done now is that it needs to be flipped. To access this feature, we go to image, image rotation, and you can see that we have multiple options. You have 180, which is actually what we need. We have 90 degrees clockwise and counterclockwise, and we have arbitrary and also flip, flip canvas. If you go to arbitrary, it allows you to first select the direction and also any angle that you require, for example, for some reason, if you would want to rotate this 13 degrees, you can, uh, but we don't want that. We just want to rotate it 180 degrees. So that's what we're going to do now. Great, it's heading downwards. And the last step in our uh, little edit is to rescale it down to 1080 by 1080 pixels. And um, to do that, you again go to image, image size, and in here, make sure this is this is locked. You type in 1080 and it automatically fills in the, the second dimension. So now if we click OK, the image has been rescaled to 1080 by 1080. So the client brief is now finished. It's the task is done. So you can now export the image by going to file and export quick export, export as PNG or some other format if you need. And we are done. You have edited the image according to all the specifications 
and now it's ready to be sent out to your client. Thanks for watching, consider liking and subscribing if you found this useful, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!